Hey everyone, welcome back to Pavli. I'm your host Akib and in this video you are going to learn how you can add Thrivecart customers into Send in Blue. So guys, Thrivecart is an application by which you can create sales pages for your products that you're selling online and Send in Blue is an email marketing tool. So many people want to use Send in Blue to create marketing campaigns, email marketing campaigns for their existing customers and new customers as well. So if you want to add your Thrivecart customers into Send in Blue application, this automation is going to help you a lot because as and when any person is going to purchase your product from Thrivecart sales page, the same customer will be added into Send in Blue's contact list automatically. So that will help you to create a email marketing list swiftly and you can effectively effectively use Send in Blue application. Okay. So let us begin. Let me show you how it is going to happen. So guys, the flow of this automation is going to look like this, that as and when a sale happens in Thrivecart, the customer who is purchasing your product is going to be added as a contact in Send in Blue in a list. Okay. And to make this happen, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And guys, the best part of setting up this whole automation is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So now let's set up this automation together. So guys, the first step to set up this automation is to log in into your Pavli Connect account. So guys, please do check the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes and that will give you 100 free automation tasks for every new month. Okay, so after that you can log in and reach here on the dashboard of Pavli Connect like this and here you have to create a workflow of automation. For that you just have to click here on this create workflow button and this window will appear and here you can give any beautiful name to your workflow. So let me fill the name here. So guys, I have given the name to this workflow as add Thrivecart customers to send in blue automatically. Now you can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created here like this. And on this page in this workflow, you will find these two things first, the trigger and the action. So our automation work on these two things. Okay. So the trigger is happening of any event here. You can read trigger saying it saying here when this happens, that means when this event occurs, action will make Pavli connect perform any action that according to the trigger. Okay. So the action is the response to the trigger. And in our use case, the trigger here is addition of a customer or a sale happening in Thrivecart. And the action to this trigger is to send the same customer in a list in send in blue application. So first of all, you have to set up your trigger for that. Just click here and you will find this choose a field from here. You have to choose your trigger application. So in our case, the trigger application is Thrivecart from where the sale is happening. Okay. So this is Thrivecart. And now you have to choose the trigger event here. So the trigger event is product purchase. So it will trigger this workflow when a product is purchased. Select this. Okay. Then click on connect here. And from this window, select add new connection. And then here it will ask for the API key or the token. So you have to find this API key in the settings section of your Thrivecards dashboard. So let me show you how you can find it. So this is my Thrivecards dashboard here, guys. And here I'm going to click on this profile icon. And here you can see I have the settings option. Click on settings. And on the settings page, click on this API and webhooks tab like this. Okay. And here you'll find this API keys option. Click on view settings. And here are the three keys I have already created. You can create a key for yourself by clicking here on this create API key button. Click here and you have to give a name to identify this key. So let me give the name here as to email marketing or anything you want to give, you can give here. Okay. And now you can click here on this create API key button and your API key is here. So you just have to click here on this copy button and you have to paste this key here in this token field and then click on save and you'll be connected with Thrivecart. Okay. You can see we are connected. Now it is asking on which product sale you want to send the customer in send in blue. So you have to select your product from this list. So uh, let me show you, I have these uh, products actually created here already in my Thrivecart 
you can see these are the sales pages of these products I have created. So I am going to choose any of these products. Let us say that core PHP programming is a course I have created, which I am selling from Thrivecart. So I am going to select this core PHP programming from here. Okay, this one. And the product is in test mode right now. This is a not live. We are just showing you the demo. So that's why I am using the test mode. Now click here on save and send test request. And it will start showing the uh, this waiting for the response. This means now you have to make a demo purchase or a test purchase from Thrivecart sales page. And we are the data of that purchase will going to be captured here automatically. Okay. And with that data only we are going to set up this automation further. So I'm going back to my Thrivecart sales page. And for this product, I'm going to open my checkout page. I'm clicking on view checkout. And here I'm going to make a demo purchase. Okay. So here I'm going to fill the contact information of the person who is purchasing our product. So I'm filling here the name of the customer. And you can fill the email address, the phone number, and all the details and then click on continue. And here I'm going to copy this test card details and paste it here. And let me fill other details as well. Okay, and I'm completing this test order or a demo order. So you can see the order is getting processed here. And within a few moments, the order will be completed like this, you can see the order is getting completed here. And you can see now on this page, the order is completed. Now let's check in public connect if the data of this test order get captured or not. And you can see the data is already captured. Okay, so you can see the, uh, the products name in the response and the name and add, uh, the details of the customer who has purchased this product is here like this, the name, address and number, all the things. Now we want to add this customer in send in blue uh, application in a list that I have created here. Okay, so this is my send in blue application and here I'm going to click on contacts. <clears throat> And I'll show you the list that I have created. And here is the list section. So this is the list I have created for Thrivecart customer with the name as Thrivecart only. And you can see we have already three contacts added here like this. Now I want to add this customer as well that I have just fetched from uh, Thrivecart. Okay. So I for that you just have to click here on this action step. And from this choose app field, now you have to choose your action application, which is send in blue. So type here, send in blue. Send in blue is here, select it. And now you have to select the action event as create a contact. Okay, so it will create a contact, select this, then click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection option. And here it is asking for the API key to connect with send in blue now. So you have to find this key from the send in blue account section. Okay, so this is my send in blue dashboard and I'm going to click here on this uh, uh, right, top right corner, this one connect thing. Okay, and here you can see this SMTP and API option click on this one. <clears throat> And from this SMTP and API page, you can create a new API key for yourself like this. And here you have to give the name to your API key like this and click on generate. And you can see you have a new API key. You just have to click here on this copy icon and paste this key here like this and then click on save. And now it'll be connected with send in blue also. Okay. So you can see we are connected and now it is asking for the list ID. So I have already shown you that we have few lists here in my thrive card. Let me show you again. In the contact section, you will find the lists. And I want to add this contacts in this list thrive card list. Okay, so select your list from this list list ID field. You it in the drop down, it will show you all the lists that you have in send in blue select your uh, specific list. Okay, then here it is asking update enable status. So if you want to update the person that you are adding them in a marketing campaign, you can make it true. And uh, if you are not if you don't want it, you can make it false. Okay, if this person is blacklisted, you can make it true or false. 
ओके इफ द पर्सन इज ब्लैक लिस्टेड फ्रॉम द एस एम एस यू कैन और इफ दिस पर्सन ब्लैक लिस्टेड यू टू सेंड द एस एम एस यू कैन सेलेक्ट दीज थिंग्स ओके एंड नाउ हेयर इट इज आस्किंग फॉर द न्यू ई मेल सो इट इज आस्किंग फॉर द ई मेल एड्रेस ऑफ द पर्सन टू होम यू वॉन्ट टू एड इन द लिस्ट सो यू विल फाइंड द डिटेल्स ऑफ द पर्सन हेयर इन दिस फर्स्ट स्टेप एंड हेयर यू इट विल शो यू द ई मेल एंड ऑल अदर थिंग्स सो आई एम गोइंग टू मैप दिस डेटा हेयर इन दिस सेकेंड स्टेप ओके सो टू मैप दिस डेटा यू जस्ट हैव टू क्लिक हेयर ऑन दिस न्यू ई मेल फील्ड लाइक दिस and you will find this thrive card option in the drop down and when you click here you will find all the data that you have received in the first step okay so from here only i am going to map the email and i am going to map the first name okay this is the first name and the last name as well okay when you scroll down you will find the last name as this okay and the phone number let us check if we have the phone number okay so we have the phone number now it is asking the country so let's check if we have the country details okay so we do not have the full country name we just have the id so you can leave this uh, field blank it is not a compulsory thing and now let's check our connection if it is working properly or not if the contact uh, create will be created here or not so i am going to click here on save and send test request and if the connection is proper a new contact will be created in my send in blue okay so it is saying invalid parameter so why it is saying because we have invalid phone number mapped here okay so you can see the accepted number formats in send in blue is this one 91 and the number plus 91 and the number and 0091 and the number so we i do not have the contact in this format so what we can do we can i think at 91 here and let's check now and you can see in the response a uh, id is created for a new contact now let's check in my list in send in blue if the contact got added or not so i'm opening the thrive card list and let's see and you can see a new contact got added here with the same name zakir khan the email id the phone number and all the details okay so connection is working proper with send in blue and we are done setting up this automation so guys when you map the data what will happen after setting up this automation whenever a new sale happen on your from your thrive card sales page this data will change automatically in pabli connect and the data will be transferred to send in blue automatically so you have to set up this automation only once you have to make the connections and map the data only once after that you don't have to do anything manually after that as and when the sale will happen the data will be transferred of the customer into send in blue automatically okay now let me give you a quick recap what we have done here so first of all in the trigger section i connected thrive card with the product purchase as trigger event and collected the test data of customer here like this after that in the action step i connected send in blue to create a contact there and map the details of the customer like this okay now you just have to click on save here and guys the best part is you can use this same automation workflow because i am going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free pabli connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel